Hello, my name is Nick and I am one of the trainers for SOE. In this video, I will guide you through the SNOMED functionality in Exact. SNOMED is a structured clinical vocabulary for use in the electronic health record. It represents information that is clear, consistent and comprehensive in manner. In basic terms, it ensures everyone is using the same codes and terminology when speaking about medical information and treatment. So how has it been adopted in Exact? When we chart a service in Exact, for example, an amalgam filling, you will notice that nothing is different here. But if we right click that particular treatment and click edit, you can see the option to edit SNOMED chart items. When we click in here, we can see the particular service that has been done, the particular tooth that it has been done on, and the surface of that particular tooth. At this point, if we need to, we can disagree and remove that service from there and use this box to add a different one by clicking on the button. like so, and we can click OK. For any service that has been shipped as part of the standard exact database, these have been pre-mapped for you. But for example, if we chart an implant, which is a code that I have created on here, then it is going to ask us which SNOMED item this adheres to. like so. I will just type in implant, find tooth implantation, and click add, and then click OK. Like so. For any codes that you have created yourself, SNOMED does require you to map those. It will have to be one of your clinical team that decides which services match to which SNOMED codes. In order to set SNOMED codes to default against our created service codes, we can do this by either clicking on the configure dropdown and then clicking on services, or by selecting the service that we want from the list and clicking the ED button at the bottom. If we look at the amalgam restoration again, for example, and click edit, you can see here the configure SNOMED button. We can click into that and remove the default option using the button on the right hand side. We simply then use the search bar to type in the service type or the SNOMED number and click add. Default in chart just means that it won't ask us each time we chart this item what the code is. We would likely want this ticked. Going back to our example of an implant that we have created, we would highlight that and click the ED button at the bottom once again. Click configure SNOMED and begin to type implant into the search box. Find tooth implementation and click add. We would click default in chart and it will no longer ask us this every time we chart this tooth. We will have to do that for every code that we have manually created in Exact if we want them to be SNOMED compliant. One last thing to highlight is the SNOMED not required button. We would use this on items such as sundries and tooth whitening. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact our support team who will be more than happy to help. 